Hello, fabulous superstar Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, this is a phenomenal month. There are powerful celestial events taking place now, including a full moon that is dreamy, that is hopeful, that is exciting. You add to this a new moon that is speaking in supreme harmony with your ruling planet, Saturn. Well, it does look like the events taking place now not only bring with them a certain harmony and ease, but also bring with them a sense of real progress. It is going to be by the time we get to the middle of the month that fully four planets will be retrograde. And that includes Jupiter in your sign. That includes your ruling planet Saturn. And yes, when we look at it on the surface, I do think a whole lot of people out there are going to have a more reflective energy as we move later into the month. But I do think for you, that Jupiter station retro, that Saturn station retro is actually going to work to your advantage. Those are actually gonna be energies that help to excite you, to give you that much more inner motivation and inner commitment and an inner drive to propel yourself and your life forward. Yes, these planets are going retrograde, which doesn't on the surface suggest forward momentum. And yet it is the stationary. It is these planets standing still and changing directions mid month that restores you to a sense of power that helps you to get in touch with the essence of not only your enthusiasm, but the practical gains that you desire to make. It will be right around the seventh of the month that we will have this month's full moon. This full moon will take place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships, it has to do with group endeavors, and it also covers big opportunities. I love how this full moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune. That does suggest magic and a sense of a wish coming true. At the same time though, it is Mercury standing across the sky from this full moon, which does suggest that conversations and communications are happening very quickly. You may have to think very quickly on your feet. There might be an element of negotiation taking place here at this time, but nonetheless, this is a fortunate time filled with hope and a sense of you being especially visionary now. I do love the social element of this energy as well. You certainly will know that you are supported, that you are not alone in the world. And at the same time, there's a sense of excitement as to what is unfolding before you. As we navigate late into the month, it is going to be right around the 22nd that we will have this month's new moon. Now this new moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. This is related to the work that you're doing, the people that you interact with, how you feel about your assignments, then the type of work that you do and your relationships that play out. Now for some Capricorns out there, this has been a time where you've been asked to work from home, like a lot out there. Well, this very energy can bring changes in some way, whether it is taking on more responsibility, very likely with the fact that this new moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn. But it is also possible if it is that you've been looking for brand new work-related opportunities or new roles or different ways, dramatically different ways of doing what you have been doing or doing something brand new, all of that very blessed with the sky. But also with that Saturnian connection, it tells me that the changes happening now, they have roots to them. Not only are they personally meaningful to you because this is your ruling planet, but they also have the potential to take you towards long-term lasting success. The changes that are happening now bring on greater responsibility, but also the potential for greater gains as well. Where it comes to matters of love, there's a whole Venus retrograde video that I have done, and I am going to link to it in the description below, because I think that is going to describe the love-related experience for a lot of people out there, and that certainly does include you. But in addition to that, we do have that full moon happening right around the 7th. And that full moon holds such 
sultry energy to it as an overriding principle, that I do feel like that is going to capture your imagination in important ways and speak to developments for you. At the same time though, just remember, there is this confusing kind of mixed messages uh, feeling in the air for so many of us right now with this month and the way that the Venus retrograde is playing out. So just take that into consideration, but at the same time know that you can enjoy the energy of the full moon nonetheless. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, well look, connecting with people through others really is how some of the more um, intensely felt connections can be made at this time. I especially like how it is that whether it's with a friend or through a friend, a part of you feels awakened thanks to desire and interaction. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, it does look like the element of using social media tools, uh, staying connected more on a level of friendship is where the bond continues to strengthen. But given the overriding theme of mixed messages, uncertain feelings, just allow yourself to navigate this time knowing that you can enjoy getting to know this person without necessarily feeling very clear as to the ultimate direction. And for those of you who are in an established bond, this can be a beautiful time to genuinely enjoy each other's company. This is friendship, this is companionship, this is a sense of being understood by your partner, being able to talk about just anything and be yourself. It is in these moments that love is nourished that much more. And it is these moments to cherish, especially considering how busy your days and the more practical energy that is gonna start coming in as we move later into the month. It is early in the month that you wanna be sure to take that time to stay connected and communicating with each other. What I love about this month for you, well, there is a lot here, but I do love that full moon. It is one that is filled with feeling and desire and emotion, and yet there's so much inspiration, there's so much hope, and there's this sense that anything is possible. And for you, with such a magical full moon like this in such an aspirational part of the sky, a part of the sky that has to do with the wishes and hopes that you have for your life, well, chances are you will feel that you've taken a big leap towards realizing your most magical goals. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.